Good evening. Welcome to Chattanooga FC against Maryland Bobcats on uh, and Sports. I'm Simon Neal bringing you the game. Delayed, as you'm sure you know by now. We should have been playing an hour and a half ago, but the weather has not been kind. And you can still see the clouds in the sky as the thunderstorms roll through sunny Chattanooga, making it not so sunny today. But uh, the weather's cleared, and the game is going to proceed later than usual. Good for you folks on the west coast if you're watching anywhere else in central time, but those of us on the east coast on eastern time are the folks in Maryland and here in Chattanooga, then not quite so good as a bit of a late one. So thanks for sticking with us. It's great to be here. And the stream team is ready to go. The players have been warming up and stretching and we should have a game underway for you in the next few minutes. So uh, great to have you on board. Just to let you know, um, first of a run of uh, games all through this month for Chattanooga FC. Currently playing Mirror and Bucket. And then uh, a bunch more games to those at the moment. Give you a quick run through the keys to the game as we uh, have those ready to go. The uh, keys are making sure that uh, the Bobcats stay under control. We've got to watch out for their striker, Darwin Espinal. Make sure he doesn't get too much room to manoeuvre. And also don't take your eye off Brandon Clegg, the defender. He's scored a couple of goals for them this year. Um, I'm watching out for Felix Allen, their goalkeeper from Ghana. He was a really good goalkeeper. And uh, Alex Tarrant, midfield two from Togo, watching out for some international players. Of course, one of the American guys. So, um, lots to watch out for in the Bobcats. They are in the middle of the table. They like to go higher up, and we should not be uh, taking them lightly. We've played them before. We've uh, had a one-all draw with them uh, the first time around. Then we had a two-one win over the Bobcats second time around. So, we have to be careful with. Say, Bobcats don't scratch us, as they like to say. Also, you remember Chadwick played uh, in the Independent Cup last time we were here at Finley Stadium. The Bobcats played in theirs too. And they won their game, only two over North Virginia. So they had a good game, lots of goals like we did here against our game against a team from Orlando, the Lions. So looking forward to lots of goals tonight and hoping, obviously hoping Jack Newby's in favour, but we'll see. And a slick pitch, lots of rain around. It should have rained pretty well, but uh, watch out for balls running away and getting away from players and how they react to those errors. So that's what we got tonight. We also have the uh, CFC Academy here tonight. We'll see them in a moment. Hopefully the players now in their huddle. But, uh, we have the Chattanooga FC recognising more than 500 youth players from the CFC Academy. There they are. At half time they get recognition. The uh, CFC Academy, believe it or not, has been there for 10 years after being founded in 2012. And it's the premier club for competitive youth soccer in Chattanooga. One of the many ways that Chattanooga FC gives back to the community. And uh, I'm sure many of you listening or watching tonight have a child or know a child has been involved with it and has had a positive result of playing with CFC Academy, so it's time to recognise them. So we'll give the lineups here. Let's get those up on the screen. Here we go. So, uh, as I say, the Bobcats, uh, number 24, Andy Alvarado, number 17, Elijah Amo, number 12, Felix, number goalkeeper, 13, Carly Balogun. Number 25, Banter, the defender who gets the goals. Also, Darwin Espinal, another goal for playing here. Number 23, the striker. 19, Yaya Fane. Number 15, Richard Falker. 13, Mango Gonzalez. 16, Davey Mason. And Jocelyn Possian. I'll be bringing more details along during the game. Head coach, Sylvia Mustello. Thank you to Maryland Bobcats for making the long journey down from Maryland to play us again here in Fulham Stadium. So, uh, we bring you Chattanooga FC as well. Not too many great changes, Rodden was kept the team pretty much the same. Um, Kevin Gonzalez in goal, uh, across the back, Greg Stratton, um, Ethan Martinez, Ian Stripland and Tate Robertson. And in the midfield, Ian Sarah, Richard Dixon, the captain, number four, Alex McLeod, number 33. Up front, Taylor Gray and uh, our golden boot man, Marcus Nagelstad. Jaime Hernandez, number 30, taken over the place, that has been taken over by... Um, Rider. Brett Jones not, is on the bench tonight, so uh, we'll see Jaime, at least for the first half, see how he does. But that's pretty much a regular team, we recognise all the players, no big surprises there. Brian will keep it consistent, uh, which is one of the great keys of his coaching style, is consistency. On the bench, Chattanooga number one out of Arlington, 
Nick Spielman number six, Juan Hernandez number ten, Travis Wall number eleven, Travis was here in the studio last week, as you remember. Uh, Ethan Cora number two, Chris Bermudez number seventeen, Roddy Green nineteen, Brett Jones number twenty, and uh, David Rodriguez number twenty-eight, so a good bench. Lots of players ready to go. I talked to them before the game, they're all really keen to get played, obviously. So I hope we get some game time during tonight's game. Here comes the car with the ball. Didn't see that too often. Probably saw that against uh, the women's Euros, where the uh, Folk Traveling Sportship were out there at the car. And you see the VFL Wolfsburg is here in Chattanooga. No other teams have that apart from us. We have kids, players ready to play. Mary Bobcats from Red and White. Ooh, the same colour as Ajax playing in, uh, in the Dutch division. Chattanooga, light blue shirts, dark blue shorts and socks. There they are. Point out that Tate Robinson has new orange boots. So he's watching out for Tate today. I'm afraid to actually show these new boots before we got going. So I hope they bring some luck and some goals. Players going into the huddle. In regular play, we'll be kicking off any moment and we'll bring you the whole game through to the end. So it'll be a late one, folks. Just stick with it. Keep watching our channel for a six o'clock and it'll be great. So as I was saying earlier, game's coming up lots this month. We've got a game on Wednesday night. Cub United Strikers are flying in from California. And they are on top of their league. We're going to see how they do early in Chattanooga. That game's at 7 o'clock, kick off to the school night. Then we're away. Syracuse Pulse on the 14th. Back here at Michigan Star on August 20th. Maybe a return trip to the Bobcats on the 27th. And then on the 31st, we've got a home game to Metro Louisville FC of the UPSL. This is a friendly game to replace the Valley United FC game. Valley United have ceased playing, unfortunately, so we'll still give you a game and more value for money soccer here at Chattanooga FC and Finley Stadium. Now everything looks great now the rain's gone. Without much further ado, we're kicking off and here we go. Richard Dixon gets us underway. And you can hear the hooligans make lots and lots of noise. Trying to get the break. Good hard shots from Alex McGrath there, but I think coming on runs it out for a throw. Good play there, Chattanooga, very aggressive from the out. Don't be a lump of the score, folks. Mirror and Bob just haven't scored yet, still nil nil. I'll uh, ask my damn assistant over here to change the scorecard on the screen in the moment, as it says one, <laughs> one to Mirror and Bob gets. Strikers. They beat them 1-0 at home, which was a good result for them. Uh, oh, 
Espinal getting the goal, and the team able to uh, keep control of the game. That's a great long ball there. Taylor Gray using his height, wrestling for that ball. Here he comes, and just gets no shot of the ball, no foul, says the referee. The uh, throw in the result. Still pressure on. Look at that. Chattanooga pumped up after that, waiting around the locker room. They are just ready to get goals.
they swing it in, they do. Across the box, goes right through. Nobody can get ahead on that one. Now yeah, for a goal kick to Chattanooga. Danger averted there. That was Brandon Clegg going for the head of the defender, comes up because he's so tall. That's why he's getting so many goals this season, so we're watching out in 25, Brandon Clegg. times the early goal when people get complacent and you can't do it in soccer. Not until the final whistle blows, so then you can relax. Stratton and Martinez combining over there. So Stratton just keeping possession and making the Bobcats come towards them to get the ball. And they draw them out of their midfield and something we've got to break on that. Just a bit too long to take the great catch. I know Taylor's fast, but it isn't that fast. So that one skips away off the wet turf. They throw deep in the Bobcats' half. That's what Chattanooga are doing there. Try and draw them. Try and draw the Bobcats towards and then break. Play again, it's the from Dixon. So, tucks it through. It's open. Greg Stratton goes through. Frick gets pushed off very hard for his trouble. The referee doesn't anything wrong with that. And uh, no foul. A bit of friction there. <laughs> the defender. <laughs> and on that, that one there. That's uh, Richard Fulger, number 15. So Chandu trying to get through there, not quite, uh, not quite lucky enough to get through. Good tackle back from Dixon. That one slipped out. Too much on that one from Stratton to, to Gray. Throw in on the near side to the Bobcat. Ten minutes played, 1-0 to Chattanooga, that goal in the seventh minute from Mark Nagelstadt has set the tone for the game. Feeding Gray, just too much on that one. But uh, Bobcats know able to get, get things moving as much as they'd like to. Chattanooga's defence is nipping at their heels and the midfield is hovering right behind them. A lot of play on this near side to rather than using the whole side of the field. It's simply a little tiny bit here nearest to us, which is making all these throw-ins occur. That's a good ball from Nagelstadt. Serro takes a long shot, but Optimistic rather than accurate in that time. So, Felix Anan gets us back into play. So the broadcast long ball technique is to be broken up by Chattanooga. Now they've got a chance to break. So that, uh, that long ball isn't doing them what it should be. They may have to change that technique a little bit. A good chunk of recovery there. So it spreads it to Stratton. That's a nice long ball. Tech Robertson straight off that. He gets this one. Puts it back into play. Still in play. No, nope, sorry, that was Hernandez. <laughs> sorry. Still the Hami Hami Hernandez. Good recovery there. Sero 
get on the ball, being careful. Stratton tips it over to Gray. Allen can't hold it, still loose in the box. And there's a foul there. Nagos that going for the ball and clips the defender. Unintentional, I think, at that point. Just uh, clips Forker there and obviously got the worst of that one. Give it a chance to catch their breath a bit as the pace has been a little bit fast, which has been good to see. There's a lot of pent up energy in these lads, obviously, they're in the way to play. I totally understand that. Free kick taken quickly. Bobcats back underway. Oh, it's a nice little touch there. Chattanooga over come through. Ball is still free and Nagelstadt called offside. That was a nice recovery from the CFC strikers. Bobcats take it quickly and get moving. Ted Robertson slows them down. It's out on the far side for a throw. One thing about the rain, let's cool things down a bit. It was pretty hot earlier this evening, and now it's uh, cooled things down quite nicely. Let's check the weather again. See what it says. 72 degrees, quite pleasant for this time of year. So not as hot as it was in the 90s earlier today. Now the button's a good feed. Carly, can he get something going? He's on his own. Takes a shot. Blocked out by Martinez. And recovered. Tate Robertson gets that. Brings it forward. So back. Stripling. Back to Kevin Gonzalez in the goal. there just gets away from Taylor Gray. Now, the Rockcats try to drive something here. Diagonal passes across the field. Oh, good tackle there from Taylor Robertson. Not giving away a, a foul in the box, but uh, giving away a corner to the Bobcats. To make sure the marking is good on the uh, danger man again, there's Clegg coming up. 25, keep an eye on him on the edge of your screen. And Barlagan, 23 in the middle. Here it comes, trying to reach him to Clegg. Gets the kick in and... He just runs out for a Chattanooga goal kick. Again, danger averted. It's a good long ball. Can Hernandez get to that one? The player down. Oh, it's nice to have a word with the referee. Not sure if he's trying to get away with that or not. We'll see. The referee doesn't do anything. Let the three kick be taken quickly. But Chattanooga, as you can see again here, that's right, so the grass pressing hard. Bobcat's not getting a chance to settle. And going for the, the high press. I think they're remembering that when we played the Bobcats here before, they, they sneaked the goal back on us. I'm not sure that doesn't happen again. Nice touch through there. Robson has got Jaimez inside him. Here's the overlap. Jaimez gets it across. Nobody can get hold of it, McGrath, and hits it straight at Felix Annan. It went right past two Chattanooga players who were just out of position and couldn't make anything happen there. Constantly with a header. 
Ball still in play. Stripling gets it back. Feeds behind it. What's he going to do? Feed it in, takes a shot. Oh, and he gets a collision in the box. That's a pretty tough tackle to do. And he goes down in the box. Chattanooga players talk to the referee. Let's say they're talking. Saying that should be a foul and a penalty kick. And again, the referee telling him to hold it off. And he's going to talk to the Bobcat defenders. Wait to see what decision he makes on that. If he just goes ahead with the throw in, or if he awards the penalty kick. Let's see that again. Put a nickel in the wayback machine, please. There you go. Here he comes. Straight, that's a clear obstruction and not no attempt to play the ball, just to block the block the attacker. Which would normally result in a penalty. Yaya Fane there but stands as a throw in only no no kick for the foul given so he's being a little lenient early on in the game we'll see how that goes as things progress Creeping along the line there, not taking the throw in from where the ball actually went out. The referee's making them go back to the correct place. There it is. 20 minutes played, still 1 0 to Chattanooga with that uh, Marcus Nagelstadt goal. Here we go again, Jaimez. The Bobcats know he's going to be dangerous, they're starting to mark him out and they took him down there after he played the ball again. Now the referee does give that one for a foul. The referee's uh, again not disputing anybody, just giving the foul. Good crowd tonight, despite the delay. There's a huge crowd in the stadium, with lots of noise going on. You can probably hear it all. So, so they've all stayed and they're enjoying it. Hope you are at home too, and thank you for being with us and staying late. Always good to know you're out there enjoying the game alongside us. Is that one touch? Goes across, no, it slips out and a goal kick. Chapman cannot get the connection on that little practice. That uh, little move they've practiced did not quite work out. Trying to break, here we go. Caleb. No, Cockett, keep it in. Chattanooga's fought the back, working well, good. Don't forget these guys did all play together at uh, Stumptown, apart from apart from Tate, so they, they know each other pretty well and that works out as a good good setup to bring the entire defensive string from Coach Ron Wood's previous club to this club. <laughs> nice little bit of skill there, look at that. Can't quite keep it in, but good skill. So keeping the midfield moving all the way back to Martinez. Trying to pick out Stratton, he's run down the wing. Rondwood got a few bits of advice to them to say. Generally Rod is not one to leap around, as we know. That's, that's the players are picked, he lets them do their thing on the field, but little guidance never helps now and again. To Dixon, Dixon, all the way across, stripling, plenty of space, plenty of time. Chatting, keeping it under control. And then it's all the way across to Stratton. But that's attack not pressing Chattanooga too much. He has a nice 
touch over at Cerro from Gray. I expect to see the Bobcats pushing a bit harder on this and not as much as I thought they would do. Chattanooga having most of the possession at the moment. Nice touch on one touch to Jaimez and he goes down again with the defender but referee sees him along with that. Bobcats get it away. Nice tackle. McGrath over there ducking and diving gets it across. Cleared out for a Chattanooga throw on the far side. Chattanooga keeping the pressure on. And running into traffic, the Bobcats get it back so they can make something happen. Foul given there. Quickly to, and quickly taking a bit too quickly for the referee. <laughs> Go that and take that again. <laughs> Allegan trying to make something happen. A good attack from Martinez to keep that out, but uh, a little bit slow, and the Bobcats take advantage of that. And she wants to push up. It's like Fork has recovered from his injury early on, so the way back to Anan is going to spread it over to the left wing, which takes obviously an intercept. Chattanooga get it. Cerro, is he going to shoot? No. Jaimez. Oh, off the left-hand post. <laughs> Slam that in, but it was offside. Yeah, well, the referee whistle go, and the flag is up. That was offside when he took that. That was very dangerous. Almost goal number two for Chattanooga. soccer here. There's a good long ball to Jaime's own. Oh, well broken up but Marcus Nagelstadt gets it. Fighting all the way down the line and goes out for a Bobcats throw. As soon as Chapman get the ball they're pretty much on it and they accelerate. It's uh, hard to defend against. Stripling and Balogun they're going for the, the header. Stripling wins it. Remember the Bobcats have Balogun as their main target man with three attackers right behind him to follow up on loose balls, which is good. But I think they might probably could use a second forward at this point in the game. The Dixon gets a push in the back. Referee says carry on. Thank you, Martinez. Finds this time finds Taylor Gray. Taylor gets found by three Bobcats midfielders, so not quite so good for him. <laughs> Out for a throw. Just up halfway through the second half now. Still Chattanooga one up. On this, what was a rainy night in Chattanooga, and now is a turned to a nice cool night. Great for soccer, that's a long ball, too much for Gray or Nagelstadt to reach that one. And sends it long, but these long balls are being intercepted by Chattanooga pretty well. Jaimez trying to feed it through. Still Jaimez. Nagelstadt. Yeah, dispossessed as he was about to make a move. Stratton. 
pushed away. McGrath. Moments again. Nice ball. Crossed in. Chandler to throw on the far side as that goes out. Another chance to throw a lot of pressure in this last little corner over there. And McGrath in the middle, looking up, but it Jaime is unmarked, so tons of room for him to get across in. Good dispossession there. Allegan on his own, what has he got support? He has. Yeah, can the Bobcats break Chandler getting the players back to support the defence, getting a lot of players back very fast. Let's give the Bobcats a chance to really get some good. That's a nice ball, but again, Senator Robertson's there. Intercepts it, good long ball. Yeah, a bit too much for the forwards. Half an hour in, Chandler is still pretty much Got the line share of possession. Bobcats are not finding a way to get through here. That one's going to run out. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> Logan gets it and tries to get on the ball and moves it back away from himself. Now Stratton looking up. He's got Gray ahead. Who's he got? Nobody goes through on his own. <laughs> <laughs> He's still on his own, Stratton, for the shot, oh yes! In the 30th minute, a solo run from Greg Stratton. Not often we see a defender get a goal like that, but he just sliced through them. Watch this. Here he goes. Nice turn, another duck, gets the deflection, oh one, have a go, bang. <laughs> what a great goal, well played Greg, that's a great goal. Chandler two up. I think it's worth the rain delay just to watch that goal on its own. <laughs> Don't forget, text GOAL, the word GOAL to 423-445-1002 to win a full Rodizio from our sponsor, Rodizio Grill. Look at that, yeah, not often you defending get a goal, but Greg Stratton doing the magic. I think that's his second of the season. Oh, still loose, Magelstack. Gets it in the corner, he gets down again. Uh, linesman giving a foul this time. The referee gives a foul. Marcus Nagos that gets nibbled at the back and taken down. It's the IR Farnay committing the foul. It's not chatting to do this one. and Ciro team over this one. It is. <laughs> Two free kick experts. McGrath touches it. Ciro touches it once, it's loose. McGrath can do it he wants it after that. He's not actually making the kick. He's just making the ball free. High man's, ah, too much high man's to get that one. Slips out across the back, the byline. And goal kick to the Bobcats but uh, that's quite a blow on to concede two like that so Bobcats going to have to start playing a little more aggressively and try harder and that's going to open up to a better attack for Chattanooga but they cannot hold back they want to get the points they want to move up from their mid table position
Chattanooga just holds out, will remain undefeated. They've done the last 10 games. So at the present time with Chattanooga, top of the table by four points and nine goals ahead of the Michigan Stars. This keeps them in a good place. They also have a game in hand over the Stars. We'll be here later this month. Um, and the Stars, of course, are almost the same ahead of the Bobcats in the table. And the Bobcats would like to get some points and get off. Oh, Kevin Gonzalez is pushing a little bit there. Always oh, gets his feet taken away from under him. It doesn't quite. Now, Chattanooga going to make a break again. Stripling pushing it up to Gray. No, Sarah pushing it up to Gray. Gray called offside. Ooh, that's close. Chattanooga turned that defensive move into an attack very quickly. Stratton to go back there. The ball actually crossed the line, take the throw, but uh, in a hurry to take it, of course. I think the Bobcats have realised Taylor Gray is dangerous and they're starting to put two on him each time, which is making it hard for him to get any action, but he's doing his best and that's what he always does. Good clearance from Anna, but all the way back to Martinez, Pops back to Kevin Gonzalez. Kevin has time to this time to look up and spread it out to Cerro. Gets it out to Gray but it skips away and it's a throw to Chattanooga. Skips off uh, number 15 for the Bobcats. Richard Forker. Again, looking at those balls from stripping is amazing to <laughs> he gets that one, keeps it in, but uh, can't keep possession. But those long balls are amazing. The Bobcats haven't already tweaked that yet, and they're letting those get through. Now, Balligan. This is better from the Bobcats trying to get an attack going. Balligan slips. He's looking to make the move. Cerro, Cerro goes down with the pressure. That's the cat's in the posse and knocking him over. Nice break there, it's a good ball. Cerro sets Gray off, but it's a little too strong. Alan's able to gather it up. And recover it. Dixon dispossessed. Unusual to see that. Nice touch there. Alvarado feeding Balligan. Alvarado with a shot which he does not hit how he would like to have hit it. <coughs> Let's say that. <coughs> so that uh, runs out for a Chattanooga goal kick. The last, uh, last portion of the first half now. Chattanooga looking strong with two up. see a little more attack from the Bobcats now they have to do something they can't just sit back the 
it's a good ball. Tate Robson looks up. He's got time. He's got people coming on him. But he's got a bit of time. And he goes down and fouled again. Not a protest there. A yellow card for Yaya Fane. First yellow of the evening. Not happy about that, as you would imagine. He thinks he was victimised or something. But midfielder gets the first yellow and it's a free kick got foul vision see Captain White McGarvey eye care do into the byline gets round one oh, can't get round two but he still keeps possession look at that turning a human tornado look at him go <laughs> still got possession so he flips it back back to Stratton McGrath Nagelstadt can't quite get through the defenders almost does <laughs> Robertson and Richard Dixon combining, shuffling the ball, and it's out. Keeping it safe. 40 minutes of play. Five to go. Not a whole lot of extra time to play, I don't think, in this first half. Chattanooga looking comfortable at two up. Dixon, again, challenged hard there. My posse in. Bobcats forced to play backwards again, which is not going to get them a goal. They do need to press on. Seeing a little different shape from the Bobcats, they now put ammo up there with Balogun and uh, Alvarado. able to generally slow him down and that ball's bouncing around a bit starting to head in it and it goes away oh, what a physical play today that's a good touch now McGrath has got men open who's going to go with trying to get through and slight hesitation the ball's taken off him Bobcats try to turn it around into an attack over and a little too high and that one just skips out for a shadow goal kick so tonight's cause of the night which we will be talking about at half time showing you a short clip about is Chattanooga Zoo I think you know Chattanooga Zoo very well um, the folks here were down downstairs early on the concourse with a llama for us to enjoy <laughs> seeing a llama and answering questions about the zoo and um, hopefully I've one of the fine folks in the zoo uh, I think it'll be Andy coming to talk to us at half time. Chattanooga mm -hmm. getting the, the bounce there. That's I'm trying to find Nagel's down from Stratton. A little bit of frustration there. Doesn't quite get to him, but. Uh, Chattanooga hanging on nicely. Dixon mm -hmm. playing just that now, Bray. And Bray get away. I'm trying to get away all night. <laughs> Here he goes, no. He's all the way back. Anan, good defending. Anan with a very quick clearance. Be able to read that one. Fight for it and good play. It gets it back. Still a bit slick out there. The ball is definitely getting away from the players now. Still sliding around a little bit. Nice 
Mr. Blair trying to get the give and go going. Raja Armo trying to get it murky. Doesn't quite get there. But the idea is good. Bobcats come again. Halligan dispossessed. Serro gets it. Nagels that tries to retrieve. No, nope. Bobcats starting to look a little stronger. Keeping possession, trying to, that's a good ball. Will it be a shot that goes right through the box? Nobody there. Wow. All the way back to Manuel Gonzalez and then dispossessed. And Cerro. A little bit of time. Good ball from Gray. Has he got support? He has. Ball through to Nagelstadt. Hernandez. Oh, and a cheeky little touch. No, that was Robertson. <laughs> Sorry. Cheeky little touch there. From Jaimez, but nothing doing. I think uh, called for an offside. Yeah, I think so. Last minute of play. Let's see how much extra time we're going to get. Wait and see the fourth official get the card out. Let us know. Last touch there from Gray. Nobody on the end of it. A great little move. Players really thinking about this, is trying to find gaps in the defence all the time. Alvarado and Armo on this side combining. Armo looking to find it, get through. Nice dummy. Thank you, Hernandez is there. And he'll come in again. There's that ball for Taylor Gray. That keeps him on side. He was level with the defend the attackers. Getting the shot in. Gets the turn. Yes! <laughs> 3 0 Taylor Gray. Not making the keeper. Let's see that again. That was really good. Look at that. Turn, calm, right through his legs, back of the goal. Great goal from Taylor Gray. Chattanooga 3 0 going into the half time. And uh, Bobcats really looking like they're on the ropes tonight. Don't forget, text 4334, uh, goal, the word goal, 243445, 1002, to win a full Radizio grill from our sponsors. Radizio grill, look at Taylor Gray, big smile, great shot, great goal. Chattanooga 3 up. Very good place to be as you go into the locker room at half time. Oh, that excitement. I missed the fourth official holding up the extra time board. Sorry, folks. <laughs> and referee blows for the half. And obviously, no extra time to be played there. Very good. Chattanooga three up with goals from Marcus Nagelstadt in the seventh minute, Greg Stratton in the 30th, Taylor Gray in the 45th. Chattanooga three, Mirrored and Bobcats nil. It's the half. And uh, don't go away, folks. We'll be back in 15 minutes. Hopefully, the folks in Chattanooga Zoo will join me during the second half, during the, uh, the break. In the meantime, don't go away. We'll be back in 15 minutes.
And we're underway, the Bobcats kicking us off into the second half. Close to look at the left wing of the, uh, the Bobcats team as they obviously change sides. Uh, Bobcats playing from right to left on your screen. It's Jaime's streaking away down there. He is working him hard down there. Back to the keeper. He's working Davy Mason, the defender. <laughs> Having a tough game, I think, against him. Pushing and shoving. Now the Bobcats are just getting a chance to get away. Bulligan went on. Oh, there is one change. Travis Walker's on for Greg Stratton. Thank you to my glamour assistant for pointing it out. Let's see Travis playing after he's up here talking to us last time we were on the air. And a bit more about him. He's a ping pong player. That's an Arsenal fan too. Free kick to the Bobcats. Yeah, 22 yards out, 23 yards out. Scoring distance, so we'll see if they've got something up their sleeve. Three players over it. Like Darwin Espinal from the 23. Getting ready to do something. Let's see what he has. Good shot, and it's deflected off the wall for a corner to the Bobcats. Espinal is still the danger man, and be watching him closely in the second half. See if he can change the balance for the Bobcats. There he is taking the corner. Goes deep, deep, deep. A little bit too deep, and headed in from Balogun, but uh, nothing to bother Kevin Gonzalez. Chan who get the goal kick. Short. Come on, sends it way up. Finds Jaimez. Back to Colin again. Now, nah, there it goes long. That's a great long ball from Stripling. And just too much, it's offside. Therefore, he gets the, or the fourth fish gets the flag up on that one. But uh, good idea. Okay, Espinal coming up now. Trying to get the give and go, but. Uh, doesn't work out and Kevin Gonzalez gets it back, picks it up. Cerro gets the loose ball, still Cerro. Spreads it wide. Ward overlapping with Taylor Gray, Travis Ward, back to Gray, oh, just slides it off the side netting, I thought they had gone in, the crowd was on its feet for that one, but uh, Taylor Gray gets it, but it hits the side netting, the referee having a quick word with the defenders, that was a little bit too physical, see that again, it happened very fast. Yeah. Key, actually, the key does get a hand on it and push it away. Referee having a word with Falker uh, number 15. Trying to take it quickly. Can't get the return pass working now. But the Bobcat's got a break on. And not really, it goes back to Gonzalez. They had uh, Davy Mason here on the left. It was open, but uh, didn't get the ball. I need to calm it down a bit. Sarah gets a knock. And he's down as a foul. 
Oh, he's in some pain. Let's see if he's okay or just a, a collision. Oh, he's back on his feet. Quickly taken free kick by Martinez. Sinking McGrath. McGrath chips it on to Jaimez. He's got Richard Dixon up there with him. Still struggling for it. Throw to the Bobcat. Giving them the Bobcats a favour. Take them quickly. Espinal pushing him up to them. Go up, go up. <laughs> and trying to get up there. And Armo with a long run. Armo still with the ball. Good ball through. Elegant. And defused. Shall never take all the power out of that one. Trying to find Jaimez again, who's chasing it back. Finally back to the and then now here's Espinel and come inside cuts it back Pet Robertson speaking for that one trying to get hold of it good push away and uh, great cross there Gonzalez getting a touch on it, just enough to keep it safe. That's really the first time it's had to be called into much action tonight. So the Bobcats are starting to get more pressure on. Espinal is working hard in the midfield, trying to make things happen. Chanu hanging it up, and Travis Ward just keeping it under control. Ward gets a shirt pull, foul awarded against uh, the Bobcats in that one. It's Gonzalez, the captain. No, it's not Gonzalez, the captain. Potting's the captain, sorry, Gonzalez. Manuel <laughs> Gonzalez. <laughs> Pulling his shirt a bit. First substitution of the evening. For all the Bobcats, Chattanooga have some players warming up. Nobody actually ready to come on just yet. Struggle on the far side. Good play though. Bobcats using space here. Trying to make something. Yeah, that's a good pass too. They get it in the box, and that is uh, that's a field goal Went right out. So uh, let's see who's getting rid of it. Schneider, number 22, waiting to come on. I think it is. I'll let you know when they confirm that in a second. In the meantime, goal kick to Chattanooga. Kevin Gonzalez again going for the short technique this time, rather than the long one. On ball there, Cerro tormenting the chat of the defence, and then Nagelstadt <laughs> can't control it, it gets away from him. So the Bobcats are going to bring on. Two players at the moment. We've got Wyville and Mahano coming on. So 
looking at their take off Mahamo the midfielder and so is Wyvel so we'll see what they do more strength in the midfield Spinal dispossessed that's out for a throw to the Bobcats and four special signals for a swap okay so Mahano comes on for is coming off. Looks like Balogun coming off on the 13. So he's coming off. Looks like that is them coming off. Yeah. Alvarado comes out. And Balogun comes out. Midfielder out. And a forward comes out. Two midfielders going in. Could be attacking midfielder, so who knows? Nice turn from McGrath there. Gets it back. Can't keep it in though. Let's get close to the hour mark. Bobcats looking a little more urgency as they play. Trying to get back into the game. And Taylor Gray gets a bit of a knock going down there, goes down hard. Referee gets the yellow card out. That was quick. Number 11 gets the yellow card, but no, 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 as soon as he comes on. <laughs> oh, well, waste time. We'll get straight to it. So, uh, that foul on Taylor Gray. So, that's the second yellow of the night, both to the Bobcats so far. So, Chattanooga on the near side. Take a Robertson with that one. See how those nice new boots, aren't they great? All the way across to Martinez. Looking to find Gray, who's okay after his knock. Great long ball. That's good. Bobcats keep possession. Bobcats starting to build on the, on the attack here, so if they've got something they can do. Nice. Cut in, in the middle of the box. Clean tackle, referee says no foul. Cerro flicks the ball away to the halfway line. Chattanooga chasing it, but uh, back to the keeper, to Anam. -An. Bobcats nerve to make anything out of that, and that looked like a good attack. They could have got a shot on goal away. Espinal again trying to make something happen. This is a good long ball. Into the corner, take Robertson. And McGrath cleaning up, forcing the Bobcats to go back to Espinel. Davey Mason down here, working them hard, making them stretch a little bit. Didn't see as much of them in the first half, and the second half has been very active. Bobcats picking. Trying to keep moving, that's dispossessed. Taylor Gray back to Travis Ward and all the way back to the keeper. Each time the Bobcats try to come through, they end up going back to their keeper and it's getting a bit frustrating for them. Still an hour played, still 3-0 to Chattanooga. Three first half goals. Stands, they remain top of the table, clear of the Bobcat, uh, clear of the Michigan Stars. Don't forget if you're enjoying this game, more, more soccer this month here at Finley Stadium. Come down Wednesday night, see us play Cal United Strikers at 7 o'clock and then 
come back on 20th, see if they Michigan Stars and finally on the 31st to Metro Louisville. The boys go on the road in between those games. Right, Taylor Gray getting him down on the ground again. He's clearly the target now for the Bobcats. They know he's dangerous. Chattanooga players getting around the referee saying you've got to protect him better and not happy with the way they're getting pretty now. High mids. He's got open. Goes back. Stripling. No to McGrath. Now Stripling. Don't forget that the boys are on the road this month too. They have to go up to Syracuse on the 14th and back to the Bobcats on the 27th. So they have a lot of games this month. The test of stamina, conditioning and uh, mental fortitude as well. That's a good through ball that uh, Stripling cleans up. And McGrath. Nice ball. Tucked through to Nagelstadt. Jaimez can return the favour. Comes inside. Cerro. Can't get hold of it. McGrath. No. Nagelstadt tackled. Robertson in the middle. Chattanooga's defence solid. Richard Dixon obviously at the core of that. in the middle here. Chattanooga breaking down the attack from the Bobcats. A little bit messy in the middle right now. Only really getting a grip on this. Giving away to the Bobcats. Now, Espinel. Can he make a break? No. Nope. Gets away from him. Martinez and Dixon cleaning up. Dixon, no, Martinez with a long ball to Nagelstadt, who's out here on the wing, on the right side. He's onside. Through ball to McGrath. Jaimez. Gray. A lovely field goal. A little bit high <laughs> over the top of the bar. It's a good move, though. Chattanooga getting space to combine and to pass. Kevin Gonzalez, time for them to set themselves up the way they like. Gonzalez over the kick. And Chattanooga breaking up the attack. Take the grade, nice one touches here. A little bit long from Stratton. I mean, gone blank there. <laughs> Robertson, sorry. <laughs> and there's Ed Stratton for. So. And he's back in the action again. Bobcat still trying to come forward. They're outnumbered by Chattanooga defenders. Good chip across. Stripling gets ahead on it. Puts it out safely. Lurking behind Colin Stripling, it's a good thing he touched it out into safety. Throw for the Bobcats. It's AJ Mason with that one. And Gonzalez goes out. Demora Alivine goes comes in and six to replace him. Midfielder for midfielder. Comes through a shot, deflected. And 
Looks like Armo got in the way of the shot and uh, came off him for a Chattanooga goal kick. substitutes yet into the uh, 70th minute no 65th minute sorry it's around about now we start getting subs nothing's happened yet Bobcats making use of the subs Chattanooga not yet Rod Underwood getting the power to drive Felix Allen's really pushing the team to go forward with those long kicks, but uh, usually as the Chattanooga defend on the end of them, which must be annoying, and he's trying to get his team forward. But, uh, <laughs> no, he's got time, who's he got? He's got Nagelstad ahead of him. Nagelstad tries to do the turn, gets fouled for his troubles. The referee calls that one, tries to make a little quick turn, tucking the ball under his heels and goes down. The referee just marking the spot where the free kick should be taken. Nagelstad adjusting his boots, not rushing. Position for a strike here. Someone wants to have a go at goal. This is the, the place to do it. Once again, Sarah McGrath. That's Nagelstadt at that time, bounced it off the wall. Chattanooga corner on the near side. Chattanooga keeping things in the Maryland half and Chattanooga not in a huge rush to take the kick. Long kick, the header flicked on. And Cerro. Stripling tries to find McGrath. Jaimez. Strip ducking and diving. Is it back? Cerro on the line. Robertson. Robertson shoves off a defender. That's a nice ball to Jaimez who's coming in. And. Uh, Ends up being a throw to the Bobcats. Good defending there. Still can't really get rid of it. But that ends up being a goal kick in the end. Chattanooga is still keeping the pressure on as they were doing in the first half. They started off that way and just led to the goal. Well, that's a bad clearance. Taylor Gray. Can he get a shot? Yes, he gets a turn. Can he get a shot? Chips it. Oh! <laughs> Almost a cheeky little chip at the near post. And that was very well defended I think that was Ammo number 17 getting the clearance but uh, watch this Taylor Gray gets round one man makes a little cheeky chip look at that and then Ammo just oh, gets it away almost goal number four wow <laughs> 70th minute Chattanooga with another corner Coming in from the left side. Andrew Robertson flipped back, crossed. 
Alan holds it. Uh, I think it was an offside call, yeah. It was an offside call. That's a good move, though. Challenger have done that a couple of times this season. Played the ball deep back to the midfield and slipped it back in as an attack. And, which is not the normal way of doing those things. Usually the ball is swung in most times in the penalty box. That is a different technique, but it catches people out. And it has paid off in the past, as we've seen. McGrath cleans up the loose ball, stripling. Sees Jaimez, he's got... Again, he goes down under pressure. No foul. Alawine. Oh, at the other end now, making the attack, winning a corner. End-to-end -end stuff, as they like to say in professional commentaries. Oh, we're Espinal with a kick again. The referee dealing with a few complaints from the... Well, both sides, really, about some decision-making, but you see it in every game, so... Doesn't really deserve a comment, does it? Deep across, cleared out. Can't need to clear that. Not too much trouble. Throws it out. For a Bobcats throw. Shamu getting ready to make their first substitution of the night. Brett Jones, number 20, getting ready to come on. Taking off. Yep, Jaimez Hernandez coming off, that makes sense. Uh, Brett Jones replacing him on the right wing. Jones had a good game, really caused a lot of problems to the Bobcats defence. It's a big, big round of applause from the, player, from the crowd. Here. He's a very popular player. on here for the Bobcats, that's a nice ball have they got the support in the box, they do not, they have to slow down let's check they have a chance to get back, that pass straight back to Cerro, gives it to Gray which was out for a check to throw on the far side, no, the Bobcats throw on the far side, well that came off a Bobcats player so on that long ball that's a nice one to Espinal let's see what he's got, Espinal can come in can take rocks and sweat on that one. Here he goes. Good shot in Halloween. Ah, oh, over the top. A nice attempt, though. The Bobcats stringing a couple of passes together. Dangerous attack. Wyville, the substitute there with the shot. Making a difference, I think. Substitutes. back down and again to reset themselves. Here's the break on, here's the shot, oh good save. Wow. Brett Jones making his mark early on, coming straight on and getting a shot that Alan has to punch away. Chattanooga keeping possession. Brett Jones' fresh legs could make a difference here. Into the seventh, fifth minute, Chattanooga still three up, pressing for a fourth. Brett Jones again. Watch him go, look at that turn. Here he goes into the box. 
Gets round two, cannot get round three. Goes down under pressure, but no foul given. Bobcats come away with the ball. Richard Dixon with the tackle, wins it back. It's clean, McGrath. Touch it to Cerro. Should never get a chance to get their shape back. back to Stripling and uh, Robertson there. At this point, the Bobcats should be pushing a little harder when they're three down. You can see the clock like nobody else can do there. Probably a little tired, the running are done tonight. I'm watching the Chattanooga players keep possession. But, uh, Elijah Armo taking the attack on his own. That's offside. I thought that was. Ted a great running after it, but it was really offside. Um, Elijah Armo still going with a sole, sole one attacker. Bobcats could definitely use a bit more support up there. Another substitution of the Bobcats coming up. Number three, Solomon coming on. Taking off number 19, Farney. Samuel Solomon comes on. Samuel Farney comes off, taking his yellow card with him. Eastern themselves. Marcus Nagelstadt winning back a loose pass. Taylor Gray coming down the side. Get it back. Chattanooga getting an attack out of nothing here. Taylor Gray with three on him. Bobcat's able to clean that up. Now. I'm in the middle. Trying to get some support. Wine gets it to the right wing. Bobcats keep taking Chattanooga sitting back a little bit here, but that shot was, uh, let's call it optimistic. Travis Ward finding Cerro, flicks it on. Not quite what he wanted to do, I don't think, there. But, uh, Bobcats get it back. Espinal trying to feed Armo. Offside. Chattanooga playing the offside trap nicely there. Armo not able to get away. Staying with late into the night here with an 11 sports. This is a bit of a late one as we go into the second half as the last 10 to 12 minutes of action are running down here at Finley Stadium. Chattanooga still sitting on that three goal lead quite comfortably. Now I'll call there, bit of shirt pulling on the far side on the graph. Foul on Richard Dixon. Referee not happy about that one. Have a quick word. Tossiem, the uh, the offender. Which is a little slow to get up, but uh, takes a lot, lot, not Richard Dixon down. So I think he's okay. And the players, people, the referee, a little bit saying, you know, a little more protection will be good when these fouls keep going in hard. Yep, yeah, so Dixon's okay. 
and he would have passed it back to Skipling and over to Martinez. And a little give and go on this side. Cerro went back to Martinez. Chattanooga slowly creeping up the field. Martinez to the halfway line. Cerro feeds it. Travis Ward's got Gray overlapping. Richard Dixon, Chan is repossessing. The Bobcats not pushing them too hard at this point. Just tired legs, I think. It's been a, a lot of running in this game. Just tired legs. This is the time where the fitness pays off. There's the mental fitness and the physical fitness, but uh, Chan is able to have both, which is good. Free kick. See the Bobcats. In the meantime, we'll do a substitution for Chattanooga. Looks like Roddy Green, number 19, coming on. A striker. Taking off Taylor Gray. He's had a good game. So both wingers replaced. Great to see Roddy getting some playing time again. Taylor Gray gets an ovation from the crowd. He's had a very good game. A great goal. Absolutely terrorised the defence on that to left wing, so good to see. Just over 10 minutes, uh, less than 10 minutes to go. See if Roddy Green can make an impact on that left wing. Travis Ward right behind him. Gonzalez, Gonzalez <laughs> gives it back to Martin. It's a little interesting bit of play there. I think he mentioned meant to do that, but it worked. McGrath, nice little back heel, very cheeky. Malix there. Now Ted Robertson. He's got Brett Jones. These two always combine so well. That is Stripling, Chattanooga. Not rushing, taking their time, saving a bit of energy. Travis Ward, Roddy Green fed, back to Martinez again, Chattanooga playing that possession ball that Ron Wood likes to do so much. Zero dispossessed, but it runs back to Ted Watson again. Bobcats looking a little weary, not chasing us down. Tired legs, the Chattanooga players dropping back, trying to attempt to chase back and waste some energy and Not doing so. Chattanooga just keeping possession as the clock runs down into the 84th minute. So almost getting that ball away. Not quite. That's a long ball. I think that one's. Yeah, it runs out for a Chattanooga throw on the far side. Unable to keep it in. really. Sort of touch there. Roddy Green's fresh legs combined with Travis Ward on that side. Nope, back to Martinez. And Green making a long run down the left wing. Not picked out by Martinez. Comes back. Bobcats come and chase the ball and leave a gap in defence and they'll drop into that pocket and make a break. Richard Dixon now. Dixon goes down again. Another silly foul there and looks like a yellow card coming out. It is. Round of applause for the yellow card from the Chattanooga fans. Richard Dixon gets clattered again in the 85th minute. Got 
Barrel Vision, go see Captain White McGarvey to get that fixed. Our great sponsors, thank you for your sponsorship the yellow cards. Need to play as over free kick, not rushing. Red card, no, red card, yellow card, it's your button, Alawine number six there. And the third one of the evening for the Bobcats. None for Chattanooga. Clock's ticking down this one. I'm not sure the Bobcat's going to get a even the consolation goal at this point. Cero working him hard there. Cero goes down with a knock. Referee finally wakes up and gives him a, <laughs> a free kick for that one after the linesman indicates there was definitely a foul on Cero. Good place for a free kick, that edge of the 18-yard box, probably about 16, 17, no, 15 yards out. Good place to curl the shot in or slip one across the box. So under the nose of the Chala Hooligans, so they could enjoy a good sight of that and put a lot of noise in the ears of the players. Chief for Chattanooga coming up. We get to see a little bit of Damien Rodriguez playing again. And Juan Hernandez. We'll see if they have time to come on and play or not. McGrath and Serra, as usual, over the balls. Referee, yep. Serra with the kick. Good header. Pushed away. Foul in the box. Spitling gives a foul away, but a good header there from Brandon Clegg, the defender, to get that one cleared. Alan urging his attackers forward as he gets ready to launch the ball. It's the 88th minute of play. Chattanooga launch it back. <laughs> Bit more time off the clock. Yeah, so we're going to see Hernandez and Rodriguez come on for Chattanooga. Fresh legs in the last few minutes. Great to see them both out there. Marcus Nagrestadt will be replaced. There they are. They're going to come on. And Ian Serra replaced. Give those guys a rest. They have worked very hard indeed. Rodriguez to place centre forward, pretty cool. And Cero replaced by Juanito. It's a huge cheer from the fans. Without a doubt, hugely popular and always will be. And a few minutes of play to go. And here we go. Taking the time. Bobcats looking a little weary. Doing a bit of chasing. Just been out trying to make something happen, but uh, nothing going on there. And Gonzalez clears it. Finds Travis Ward. Roddy Green now. Turning circles. Keeping possession. Frankie Martinez, back to Green. Nice touch and Green, a little too strong. And then just win the ball back. Puts past McGrath. Now Espinel, what's he going to do? He'll try and get the attack going in the 90th minute of play. Bobcats the good long cross. Robertson gets the header away. Deep in again from the Bobcats and way too deep and that goes out for a Chattanooga goal kick. The ball runs up the street towards first Tennessee Pavilion. 
see how much extra time we're going to have on the, uh, the 90 is up. Two minutes of extra time. Not a whole lot. That will take us through to 11 o'clock Eastern. <laughs> Bit of a late one tonight. So once again, thanks for sticking with us on 11 Sports and the, uh, the broadcast here. Brett Jones gets the ball. Tries to feed Roddy Green. Green is fighting with the defence. Chasing on to Anan. Has to clear it quickly. Back to Richard Dixon all the way. Martinez nice and calm. Travis Ward. Space and time. That's a great ball. McGrath tries to feed it out. Bobcats have to push it away for a throw in. Just about out of time in the last minute of regular play now. Hernandez feeds it out. Ah, that was too strong. Didn't quite work out that one. That's right, the Bobcats have a throw in. Just about out of time here. Gonna make a last ditch attack. Armo heads it on. Can he find Wyvel? And it's out for Chattanooga to throw in their half. Which of course is taken slowly. Slowly. <laughs> Who's been making a heck of a noise as they realise victory is in sight? Chattanooga with the three goals in the first half really were excellent goals and worth, uh, worth waiting for. McGrath fires it off, Roddy Green chases it, he's offside. And I think the referee is calling the foul. Yes, he's calling the offside. Now he's calling the, the end of the game. 3-0, <laughs> great win for Chattanooga, keeping them top of the table. Three great goals from Nagelstadt. Stratton and Gray. 3-0 to your Chattanooga FC, another great win at home in front of an enthusiastic crowd so 3-0 Chattanooga great play three great goals very enjoyable game sorry about the rain delay we can't control that but uh, thank you for sticking with us till 11 o'clock here on 11 Sports I've been Simon Neal bringing you the game we'll be back on Wednesday